Hey, welcome back Fiat fans. So you know the blue Bertone hasn't really been running all that great and I want to really determine why. So what I'm going to do here is a fuel pressure test and also a relative fuel injector performance test. And this thing is pretty easy to set up. It's a little fiddly, you know, trying to get to the injector connectors, but that just is what it is on the X19. And we're going to need two different tools to carry out this test, both of which are pretty inexpensive. I'll drop links to these down below in the description. I have a fuel pressure gauge and a fuel injector tester. So first things first, let's just check the pressure of the system. I have the fuel pressure gauge hooked up in line with the cold start injector and that's actually how they tell you to do it in the manual now pressurizing the system is going to be a little different on every car but on the x19 it's pretty darn easy first thing you gotta do is make sure your ignition is on and then you take the airflow meter and you very gently press in the flap you hear the fuel pump kick on like that and you can see that on the gauge what it pumps up to and it's coming down slowly might have a small leak in the system somewhere but right here let's watch it again let's hold it so each one of those little marks i think is like two psi so we're at, at like 34 psi and the spec is to be between 33 and 39 so that's within spec now to test the injector performance we're gonna hook up our injector tester here i have it powered off of the positive side of the coil over there and it's just hooked to ground on the head over there now we need to get these little test leads onto the injectors themselves and like i was saying on this car it's kind of tricky to do all right so for whatever reason hooking the injector tester up to the positive side of the coil wasn't giving it enough juice so I hooked it up to an old battery here. So what we're gonna do to test these injectors is go one by one reading the initial pressure and then we're gonna activate the long pulse on the tester and then read the pressure that it drops down to. So let's get the mode set to number three, which is the long pulse. And we're gonna activate the fuel pump again. See it settles out to about 32. Gonna hit the button. And you see it's goes down to just below 30 maybe like 29 or something and i was on the number three injector why am i starting with number three i don't know it was just kind of the easiest to hook up to for the moment so we started with 32 psi and then we dropped down to let's just say 29. now let me go through and do this for each one of the injectors oh and if you're wondering how it is you get the injector connectors off they have like this little metal, metal clip that goes around the outside the connector and that's what holds it onto the fuel injector and the best way to do these are to kind of pry that clip apart a little bit and then you can just kind of squeeze and yank up on the connector but these connectors they tend to break a lot i really recommend replacing them i'll put a link down in the description below for the connectors i like to replace them with the connectors that you replace them with have a nice little squeezy thing it makes it a lot easier to take off so i don't have any on hand at the moment otherwise i just replace these because they're already cracking and getting brittle so and if you're wondering how the injector tester actually connects to the injector it's got these little bitty spade connectors here that just kind of push on to the top of it. Number four is probably your most easily accessible injector. So maybe we can actually see me push them down on there. I don't know, it's still kind of impossible to see what I'm doing. My big meat hooks are in the way. And you want to be careful not to bend the little spade connectors on the injectors like I just did right now. All right, now you can see it on there, right? And here, see if you can listen to it. I'm going to hit the button on the injector tester. You know you have them on there good when it makes that little buzzing noise. See if I can switch lights on you. That other light was kind of causing some weird video artifacts, wasn't it? Well, anyway, let's uh, trigger the fuel pump again. Pump that guy up. Looks like we're about 32 again. Hit the button. Well, she barely moved. I don't like the looks of that. Let's just exercise the injector a few times. See if it improves. It already looks like it's improving. I don't know if you guys can actually hear the sound difference too, huh? I'm guessing these injectors are kind of old and tired, so, but let's uh, go ahead and give it another try. We're up on 32 again. Pfft, wow. Okay, it looks like we might have a problem with number four injector. I don't know. So the behavior of this number four injector is kind of interesting. Once the pressure drops below, you know, somewhere around 26 PSI, you hit the button and then it actually fires. But when you pump it up and then hit the button, 
it barely triggers at all. It's like it's not strong enough to overcome the pressure. So that might be a problem. All right, getting it down on there on number two, really tricky because it is buried in there. Don't know if you can see that at all. Basically had to fish the wires down in the top and then kind of come in from the side with some needle nose and stick them on. But anyway, let's juice this thing up. All right, we're at 32 like normal. Hit the button. Yeah, that one dropped down to about 29, just like number three did. So that's good. We'll make a note of that here. 32, 29. Now let's try out number one. Dang, it is tricky getting down in here. You know, I think this uh, little tester really needs a standard connector put on it, or maybe at least some adapters to put a standard connector on it, because you do want to be able to connect it up to lots of different ones. But anyway, let's go juice this thing up. All right, we're at 32, gonna hit the button. Ooh, that don't sound good. Let's let a little pressure bleed off and see if it does the same thing that injector number four was doing. These things usually do go bad in pairs simply because, you know, one and four and then two and three are tied together. All right, the pressure's dropped down to about 25 or so. So let's hit the uh, pulse and see what happens. Yeah, look at that. That's a big difference. All right, well, I guess we know that four and one are bad. They just seem too weak to open whenever we're at full pressure. Well, I've got some new injectors on order. Unfortunately, they're not all coming in at the same time, so I don't know if I should just replace like two injectors and send it, see what happens. I guess I'm gonna have to, cause you know, doing that big tour this weekend, but hopefully we get those in tomorrow and I can make a separate video on changing out the injectors. I hope this uh, video helps you guys out seeing understand how to test injectors, see how they're flowing. These little injector testers really come in handy. Not only does it give you a quick way to test your injectors, but you can also do some injector cleaning with this thing too. You pull your injectors off and get this thing hooked up to it and like spray carb cleaner into them while you're actuating it. and. Now, it usually helps them out a little bit, but uh, of course it's better to have a real injector cleaner. And I do want to point out that there's another part of this test that I'm actually not going to do because we already discovered a couple of bad injectors. But what you should do is after you test your fuel pressure, start the engine, let it come up to temperature and everything, and then check the pressure again. The running pressure is supposed to drop down to 28 PSI. But hey, if you found any of this helpful, please give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out. And subscribe if you're not already. Well, bye. Thanks for watching.